Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Ajay and in this video 362 uh, we are going to talk about how to open the access tables. Well, uh, be it your own database or it is the another database we are which you are going to open from your existing current database. We will learn both the things, right? So this is uh, we have started the access VB introduction series. So anybody who is willing to learn the access VBA, they can go ahead and refer to the series, right? For those who are watching the channel for the first time, this is the series have, I'm talking about access VBA introduction tutorial. Before you watch this video, guys, please go ahead and watch the video number 360 as well. If you're a beginner in the access VBA, right? Now, this channel is dedicated to all those professionals who wants, want to uh, learn Excel, Excel VBA, MS Access and Access VBA, right? So you can see here, these are all the different playlists which I have created, right? So they are all divided into four categories basically. One, the category is Excel, uh, the advanced Excel, and the another is Excel VBA, and then Access, and then Access VBA. So we're going to learn this today um, that how to refer to the Access databases. And uh, this is the database I have right now. And I want to tell you that how you can open that table. This table which I'm talking about on the bookstore table using the access VPA and again I'm repeating if you haven't watched the previous video please go ahead and watch that video first okay so the first uh, thing we will be doing is how to actually open this bookstore table so um, we'll write first of all the table table open this is the name I'm going to give this to the macro so I will define here my database which is DB as uh, BO database database uh, access object library that is what we call it do do and set db equals to current database right so these are the two lines which i already made you familiar in my previous video now once you have declared that um, what is the next thing you want to do uh, the next thing actually you want to guys do that to open this table okay you can declare here one str as uh, any variable and you can write here that str as uh, a string okay and uh, then you can write your str equals to the name of the table which is in this case bookstore it's a case insensitive so not a problem you can write in whatever way you want make sure that the spell check should be correct okay there should be no spellings mistake now, the next uh, thing which i would like to do here is um, i'm going to simply run a command which is do cmd uh, this do cmd do command right we will be exploring this do cmd in the coming videos as well as you can see here they it it comes with a lot of methods like add menu apply filter b post to close database delete object so there are a lot of things actually but what we the method which we actually right now need is how to open the table so i'm gonna write here open table right this is how it looks like guys and then the table name your table name actually is str you can also directly write here bookstore that's not the problem in the quotes right that's all up to you so uh, i'm just gonna uh, write this and and then you're gonna open this let's say in the design view and uh, then uh, you want to add you know you want to open it as read only add or edit you know whatever it is for example i'm just going to open it as a read only and that's it so uh, now when you're going to run this uh, let me just uh, remove this and now we're going to run this and see what will happen so i'm running this and the bookstore table is in my current database which is database one you can see the title on the top of this access so here we go once you open this you see that the access table opened perfect now this is opened and this is opened in the design view you can here you know go ahead and check all the basically the field names how they are coming right Generally, we don't use uh, the design view. I wanted to tell you. Uh, you can also use the the actual the when, when you make the programs. You know, generally what you do is you basically you uh, see the output. So what you can do is this design view which you have uh, you now written here. What you can do uh, when you press comma, you can see that as a normal view. A okay? normal view. I want to see the table output. So when again you run this, this is how it will look like to you. That's how you can actually open any table and you can see that oh, uh, you know, what exactly are the records in that inside that table. So this is the first way. Now, uh, how about opening the another database? 
table of another database so in my this uh, the d folder uh, i have here database two as well we will like to open this database two to the vba and i have already talked about that in my previous video but the point which uh, now we are going to do is we are going to further i mean you know take this to the new level we would like to open this book table using the vba programming of course right so table name is the book first of all what you will do in this case um, now i'm going to insert a another actually a module here so that you can see this is basically for the current so you can write here the current and let's go ahead and insert the another module and in this module now we are going to open the uh, open table another database okay this is what we need now need to do now in order to open uh, the database you know i have told you that you got to define one your application object as access application so i'm going to define it on the top i'm going to make it a public variable right, before the macro so that it should not close immediately and watch the first video in just in case if you are not able to understand what i'm saying so now the first thing which i will do i will create the new access application here okay and we're gonna make that access application visible so we're gonna make it true now what is the next thing i want to do while well, using this now i'm gonna open my you know, the current database and you have to provide the path so that is in my d drive and the name of that uh, database is database 2 dot accdb which is the access database extension like you have xlsx in the excel you know extension once this uh, database uh, get open what is the next thing you want to do well the next thing you want to do is you want to target that table okay now you already know the table name uh, so you can again define here dim str as uh, you know string it's not necessary you can directly write the name as well for example so just write here book now what is the next thing you want to do now you know this is what i'm going to write open table the same command right and in the open table i write str so the other parameters you need not to write i mean you can of course avoid them default it will open that in the normal view now i want to show you that if if, if you run a program like this is it going to work or is it not going to work okay uh, so uh, first of all let us go ahead and run the uh, this database we're going to run this there we go can see that it's in the background the moment i ran this x visible equals to true we have a layout you know of the axis and from this axis layout we'll get our d database to open you know that this is now open i'm gonna run this and you see microsoft microsoft axis can't find the object well you can see that the table is there why it can't find uh, the reason is very simple because the you know when you're using the do cmd basically you have to prefix it with x dot now to cmd right if this uh, when you prefix it with the x then what will happen this command is going to run on the access application you actually have opened it this way okay. now if i again go ahead and run the command this now we have this open and now we're going to run this let us see if we are able to do that or not you can see that it actually worked for you guys okay. so Fixing the X is really, really, very important for you because that, you know, it's the new access platform for you, interface for you. And from that interface, this gets connected with this table. So in this way, you can actually create access table. And um, again, uh, you can also go ahead and maximize the screen as well. So what you can do is um, after you get the table open, uh, you can again use the x dot two cmd. Then there is a command called run command, uh, which is very useful. And then you write c ac um, cmd, and then there is an app. Uh, I think the minimize. First you get to minimize the application, and then what you do afterwards, you just maximize it. So this is going to be the maximize. Okay, if I just run this command again, let me show you, let me close this uh, database. So if we just run this command, let me give it a little space. Okay, so this is opened. You can see that so far good. Uh, what about this? See that it got minimized and once it got minimized and maximize it again. Why I'm actually minimizing it? Because um, this is my personal experience and I also have read 
uh, you know about a lot of in the Google articles. Uh, generally, what happens sometimes you directly maximize it and get maximized. In case if you are able to maximize maximize your screen which you want the database you want then fine you don't have to use the minimize but in case if you're not able to do that first minimize it and then maximize it will work now you can see that database is open if you don't fix by the way x then what will happen if i just delete this okay because these are the you know the basics and your basics the foundation has to be very strong then you can make the codes very easy make the codes easily so if i just run this again now you know that i'm gonna open this and you now the Will, will also be open now look at this the moment i run this see that in the background db database one actually got minimized this db2 database 2 is still on so when you're going to maximize it what happens database one is going to maximize access vb is so interesting by professing uh, you know x before this two cmd changing the entire concept you are absolutely changing the all the databases concept right so this x is very much important x because access uh, x is what x, x actually is your access application you can write whatever you want not necessarily you have to write x you can write another object variable that's all up to you but i'm just trying to tell you that if you want to give the movement through the vba code you should be knowing all these things right uh, what exactly which database you are trying to use now in the previous code uh, in the previous module which i show you here uh, you see that here we didn't actually have written anything as access application and the reason is very simple you should understand why we are not doing that because we were actually working on the current database and when you're going to work on the current database you don't require any access application to open separately that is only when you want to you know, work the another database on the current one right and in fact in this case guys even these two lines are not really important for example you can delete that because obviously by default that will be taken as a current database so here we are only saying that just open the table which is str which is a bookstore table or you can directly also write here bookstore that's not a problem so if i just run this look at this what will happen see that same out right it looks good you know if you declare all the variables and everything i mean that's going to make a lot of sense as a programmer also i mean feel good you declare you know sort of these stuffs in the coming sessions also you know use all these db commands as well right so in this uh, video um in this tutorial what we have learned guys we learned the art of controlling the tables controlling the table of your own database and controlling the tables of the another database which you can first you know get get it open through your current database and then you can control that right in the my previous video which i was talking about the video number 360 here we actually talked about how to control the access database not the tables first to know how to control the access database and then inside that you should know you know because every access has a different component objects they have the tables queries modules forms you know reports we will be talking about on them one by one so that's it for now guys and uh, i will be back very soon if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and we will be back very soon thank you so much for watching